Hey, what's up everyone? It's Guy Dips here, and today we are going to be trying something new. Now, my friend gave me the last little bit of his can to try it, to talk about it, and do a little bit of review on it. So what it is, is Stoker's Long Cut Winter Green. Never tried this stuff before. I've only heard okay things about it. Now, some people I know dip this regularly, like my buddy, the one who gave me the can. He dips this all the time. So... I guess let's get into it. But before we do that, we have to pack dip spit. So, let's see what happens here. I'm gonna side pack it. Now, I already know how this stuff smells and whatnot and how it looks, but it's just a little bit left, so. I'm not going to throw the last little bit in. I'm only going to do like a, you know, a, a smaller, medium-sized pinch kind of, I guess. Just because I need to show you guys, you know, what it looks like just in case you didn't know. And, yeah, that's the pinch size there. And then after I do all that, I will throw the rest in, so. Okay, so let's get into the can. So, this is the presentation of the can. It's more of a uh, plasticky feeling, and the taste of it, I don't really know how I feel about it yet. Just gotta let it soak and let the juices, you know, get in there. Whatnot. Now, I mean, it is a uh, juicier dip now, okay? So the can of it, you know, it's a, you know, I wouldn't sit on it. You know, if you're a guy my size, I mean, I wouldn't recommend sitting on it, throwing it in your back pocket. It might break, I'd assume. But how it looks, I mean, it looks like a long cut. It, it definitely feels like long cut. The taste, no. The taste isn't, hmm. 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 Yeah. That's definitely a juicy dip. Well, the taste of it is a it tastes plastic. Definitely taste a lot of plastic in there. I don't taste a lot of you know wintergreen flavor. I taste a Pretty heavy set, uh, tobacco-ish, look like dark licorice flavor with a lot of plastic. Mm. Mm. Not a fan at all. Like three out of ten, I'd rather dip skull. I hate to say it, I mean, I hate for all you stokers, dippers to, you know, do that or say that, but it, it I'd rather dip skull. This stuff is awful. I don't like it at all but i'm gonna leave it in and you know we're just gonna sit here and shoot the shit and you know talk about stokers i guess um i guess the uh packability of it was pretty good though i mean it did it pinch pretty well and so far it's holstering really nicely i mean there's there's pros and cons to it i guess you know i'm not gonna bash it 100 percent. just the flavor is really bothering me right now um you know it did it pack it packed necessarily well. I mean it how it it's holding up pretty good. I thought it was just gonna hit the lip and fall apart. So I was wrong there. Hmm. It's definitely hmm. it doesn't burn at all. I mean at all. It doesn't have a doesn't have a really burning taste to it. It's just really sweet. That's the word I was looking for, sweet. I was looking for that word earlier when I was talking about it. It's a really sweet, like, non-wintergreen flavor. I mean, but it does. It, it, it's holding up pretty well. Um, But I'm going to throw the last little bit in there now. Um, it's not even worth packing, actually. I um, kind of hate kind of hate that 
Can't really pack it. It's like killer filler. Hmm. Guess I'll add it to the old uh, dip tower there. But anyway, so like I was saying earlier, it, it, it does. It's a very, very, very odd flavor at first it is i mean it's settling in now you know it's really moist and it's um it still tastes the same like i said it's just super sweet and i don't like that at all i don't really like sweet dips you know wintergreen isn't really copenhagen wintergreen really isn't like that um would i dip a different school dip probably not um just first impression of this i imagine most of them do taste like that um i don't know what flavors are out there i think i know of only three which is straight and mint is from what i seen and i probably wouldn't do those um but back onto the topic of this it, like i said it's a um it's a can i probably wouldn't sit on at all um it feels like it would literally crush and you'd have dip in your back pocket i, I foresee that happening that's made me spit a lot hmm. <clears throat> Um, the, like I said, the packability of it is actually phenomenal. Like it's, it, it's, it's staying in there pretty well. It's holding up its bargain with that. Um, uh, excuse me. So my first impression of it, it really isn't that great so far. Truthfully, I probably will never dip this shit again. Um, I just thought it would be fun to, you know, try something new, you know, I mean, you, sometimes you just got to try something new, um, I think the next dip review that I'm going to do is something else that I've never tried, which is probably going to be Skull Extra Mint, occasionally, I will dip a mint, um, Copenhagen Mint is probably one of, uh, my favorite mints to dip, even though it's pretty cliche by now, because everyone was super hyped about it, and now it's just, eh, but occasionally I will like a mint dip, it's like a step down from wintergreen, it's more of a mellow, you know, smooth kind of, uh, taste to it, it's, re it's really minty, it does, it, 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 like, it brightens up your mouth a little bit more, it gets your, you know, spit glands going a lot harder, um, but anyway, like I was saying about the Stokers, and, and I really hate to knock it, and you know, like I said, I'm trying it, so, but I just, I don't like it. it it's a very odd flavor, it doesn't taste right, and it doesn't taste like wintergreen at all to me. Now, to some other people, yeah, it could taste like wintergreen, but to me, not a single bit of wintergreen. I'm not getting any wintergreen flavor out of it. <coughs> It's it's just a very odd taste to it, and that's the main thing. That's like my only complaint about it is the taste and the can quality. Um, I mean, other than that, it, it, the the quality of the dip itself is pretty good. Like you know, the long cut, the uh, the taste, the not the taste of it, the uh. The pinchability, the packability, and the whole nine there. Um, you know, it's going to be something new to throw into the dip tower, I guess. Um, but would I do it again? Like I said, probably not. It's just not something that I would do. And would I recommend it to people? No, I wouldn't. I would not recommend it to people. If someone asked me, hey, have you tried Stokers? I'd say, yeah, and I didn't like it. Um... <clears throat> 